we talk so much about these guardian angels, many of whom are black, who basically put their lives on the line to serve, to help people in hospitals. And then we have the situation. It's, it's deplorable, it's uh, unacceptable. A hospital north of Montreal and St. Eustache posted 10 job offers looking for white-only female orderlies back in November. La Presse obtained emails showing the ads, the hospital saying it was to work with a difficult patient who allegedly requested a white woman. And it's absolutely appalling, as far as I'm concerned, is the fact that the administrative machine considered it to be acceptable and uh, acted like this was a viable uh, demand, uh, something that is uh, compatible with their values. The hospital emails read, only accepts women of white skin color. Another specified that the orderly must have white skin. And another requesting white woman only. The regional health authority in the Laurentians, responsible for the St. Eustache Hospital, tell City News it's launched an investigation and say they are stunned, adding that the patient who made the request for a white woman only suffers from cognitive impairments who became disoriented while receiving care from a person of color. In a statement, spokesperson Julie Lemieux-Côté writes, The situation is totally unacceptable and goes completely against the instructions of openness and respect that we have transmitted on several occasions to all our teams. Any recruitment or hiring situation goes through a process that is fairly accessible to all. How many postings in the province of Quebec don't have that same uh, characteristic but in the minds of the people who are deciding the, the, who they're going to hire, they do have that bias. It's not everyone who are going to come up, come out and share their stories and, and, and um, kind of uh, share their experiences and, and for it to be validated. We still have a, 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 an issue and we still have an obstacle where um, their supervisors may not only decide to believe it, but also not validated. This comes days after an Indigenous woman says hospital staff in Joliet, northeast of Montreal, wanted to call her Joyce instead of using her actual name after Joyce Ishakwan, the 37-year-old Atikamek woman who died in September, live streaming as racist slurs were hurled at her from hospital staff. Quebec's Deputy Premier and Public Security Minister Geneviève Guilbeault says this new incident is unacceptable and that the province plans to improve training in the healthcare network. We want to make sure that every employee in the healthcare system is aware of the necessity to make sure that all citizens in our nation of Quebec are uh, equally treated and have the same right to receive the same services. We need to, to make sure that we can eradicate this kind of race-based preferences in hospital and healthcare services. But more important, we have to ensure that it will not happen again. In Montreal, Melina Jubilaro, City News.